Good day everyone and welcome back to our virtual classroom. For our Maths Easy episode, we will be learning quadratic equation by completing the square. So let's get started. for today is solving quadratic equation by completing the square. Solving quadratic equation by inspection, taking the square roots, completing the square, the quadratic formula and factoring as appropriate to the initial form of the equation. So when we recognize when the quadratic formula gives a complex solution, then the, then the answer or the solution will be equal to x, a plus minus b, or if it is an imaginary number, then it will be a plus minus b i, where i stands for an imaginary number and a and b are real numbers. So when we do completing the square, we have to find that number that will make your equation a perfect square. Now for this case, 20 is not a perfect square. Hence, when we solve this, we have to move minus 20 to the left or to the right side of the equation. So it will be x squared plus 8x equals, since that's negative 20, that will be positive 20. Then we find a term that completes the square on the left side of the equation. So how do we do that? That will be Using the middle terms number, we divide it by 2, 8 divided by 2, that will give you a 4, and then the answer, we square it, that will give us 16. Hence, the number that we have to add on both sides of the equation will be 16. So it will be x squared plus 8x plus 16 equals 20 plus 16. The reason why we need to add it on both sides, that is because 16 is not part of the original equation. Once you have 16 on both sides, then x squared plus 8x plus 16 becomes a perfect square trinomial. So when we solve this, you just need to check the sign, this positive, positive. So you have x plus the number that is half of the middle term, which is 4, brackets square equals 20 plus 16 you will have 36 then you solve it by square root so x plus 4 square you move square to the other side that would be x plus 4 equals plus minus square root of 36 hence you have x equals you transfer positive 4 to the other side that becomes negative 4 plus minus square root of 36 is 6 Therefore, x squared plus 8x minus 20 will have x equals negative 4 plus 6, which is positive 2, or x equals negative 4 minus 6, that is negative 10. So that will be your answer. Another example. Let's say we have x squared plus 8x minus 84 equals 0. So the first step is to transfer minus 84 to the other side of the equation. That will be x squared plus 8x equals 84. Then we find the number that will make this a perfect square trinomial by dividing the middle term by 2. 8 divided by 2, that is a 4. And then squaring it, that will be again a 16. So that will be x squared plus 8x, we add 16, the perfect square on both sides, 84 plus 16. Then this will be a perfect square trinomial, which is x, and then the number that is the quotient of 8 divided by 2, that is plus 4. Squaring it equals 84 plus 16 is 100. Transferring the square to the other side, it will become square root, that's extracting roots plus minus square root of 100 transferring plus 4 to the other side that becomes x equals negative 4 plus minus the square root of 100 which is 10 therefore 8x squared sorry x squared plus 8x minus 84 will have x equals negative 4 
plus 10, you will have a 6. Or x equals negative 4 minus 10, which is negative 14. So what if you have an equation wherein your a is not a coefficient of 1? For this example, we have a 2x squared. Now, completing this square doesn't work if the coefficient of x squared is not 1. So the first step that we have to do is we have to divide both sides of the equation by the coefficient of x squared. So for this case, you have 2x squared minus 7x plus 12 equals 0. We divide everything by 2 you will have x squared minus 7 halves x plus 12 divided by 2 will be 6 equals 0. Then we transfer plus 6 to the other side. You'll have x squared minus 7 halves x equals negative 6. Then we do the same procedure. We divide 7 halves by 2. That will be 7 over 4. You just need to multiply that. Squaring this, you will get 49 over 16. So we have x squared minus 7 half x plus 49 over 16 equals negative 6 plus 49 over 16. Factoring this out, you'll have x. Let me just erase this. There's no more space. So it will be x squared minus 7 halves x plus 49 over 16 equals negative 6 plus 49 over 16. So you'll have x, the number that you have divided 7 halves by 2, which is 7 over 4, will be the factor here since that's minus. So you have minus 7 over 4 squared equals negative 6 plus 49 over 16 will be negative 47 over 16. So since this number is negative, hence we will have, let me erase this, you will have, let me write it here, x minus 7 over 4 equals negative plus minus the square root of negative 47 over 16. Now since this is negative 7 over 16, negative 47 over 16, how can we extract the roots here? We can extract 16. However, the negative 47 becomes an imaginary number. So this will be x minus 7 over 4 equals plus minus you place an i square root of 47 so since this is a negative 47 outside you place an i square root of 47 over 4 then you transfer minus 7 over 4 to the other side that will be x equals 7 4 plus minus i root 47 over 4 or we have x equals 7 plus minus i root 47 over 4. So that is your answer. Let me show you another example. Let's say you have 3x squared plus 5x plus 6 equals 0. So the first step is we will divide the whole thing by the coefficient of x squared, which is 3. That will give us x squared plus 5 over 3x plus 2 equals 0 because that's 6 divided by 3. Then we transfer 2 to the other side so that we will be able to complete the square. You will have x squared plus 5 thirds x equals negative 2. To find the perfect square, that's 5 thirds divided by 2. That's 5 over 6. You just need to multiply that. Squaring this, we'll have 25 over 36. 
So we add 25 over 36 on both sides of the equation, that's x squared, plus 5 thirds x, plus 25 over 36, equals negative 2 plus 25 over 36. Then we factor this out, this will be x plus, just need to use this, that's 5 over 6, square, equals negative 2 plus 25 over 36, that will be negative 47 over 36. Transfer square to the other side, that becomes square root, so that's x plus 5 over 6 equals plus minus the root of negative 47 over 36. Again, since this is negative 47, that becomes an imaginary number when you take when you extract the roots. And of course, square root of 36 will be 6. So hence, we have x plus 5 over 6 equals plus minus i root 47 over 6. Transferring positive 5 over 6 to the other side, that will be x equals negative 5 over 6 plus minus i square root of 47 over 6 or we have the final answer x equals negative 5 plus minus i root 47 all over 6. I hope that you have learned something. Thank you and see you next time. I hope that you have learned something new today and if you're new to my class, please don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell for your attendance today. And as always, as Teacher Maria would say, please do live your life to the fullest, learn something new every day, and love one another as how our God loves us. See you next episode for our Maths Easy Series. Bye!